Basically, high fructose corn syrup contains both fructose and glucose, just in different percentages. So most high fructose corn syrup is like 90% fructose, but then sometimes it varies. And this could be based on whether or not you want to use this corn syrup in soda. That would be a different percentage than using it in like a baked good. But they recently changed it where basically products that have that 90% fructose, which is still high fructose corn syrup, they don't have to be called high fructose corn syrup anymore. Instead, it can be called fructose or fructose syrup with, you know, people who don't know a lot about stuff. Like I didn't know before I looked into this. I would probably look at that and be like, oh my God, fructose from a fruit. It's a plant. It's like a good healthy sugar. And this is how different food items specifically like the vanilla checks can say we're high fructose corn syrup free even though they have it in there it's just now it's called fructose instead all right so the most common forms of high fructose corn syrup used in food is going to be hfcs 42 and hfcs 55 so i put this graphic together a while ago but this is showing hfcs 42 42 percent fructose 53 percent glucose these are all on a dry weight basis HFCS 55 is 55% fructose, 42% glucose, regular granulated sugar up there, which is 100% sucrose. And sucrose is a disaccharide made up of 50% glucose and 50% fructose, which is why the fructose glucose ratio is one there. And then you have things like honey, which are 49% fructose, 43% glucose. HFCS 42 is commonly used in things like cereals, baked goods, some beverages. And then HFCS 55 is commonly used in soft drinks. HFCS 90, which is 90% fructose, is used in very small quantities in some very specialized applications, but it's typically used to blend to make HFCS 55. Now there's also crystalline fructose that can be added to foods that is just fructose, so that's what it's going to be labeled on the ingredient deck. The issue is not that that is being labeled as fructose because that is accurate to what it is, but the issue is the misconceptions regarding high fructose corn syrup and the fact that no high fructose corn syrup is used effectively as a marketing label because there are so many misconceptions regarding that ingredient. So if people understood that high fructose corn syrup is simply just a source of fructose and glucose, just like sucrose is 50% glucose, 50% fructose, honey, these are all added sugars that contain different ratios of fructose and glucose. So saying something doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup is such an effective marketing label because people assume that that is somehow bad or worse for you than other sources of added sugar when that's really not the case. HFCS 42, 55, sucrose, and honey are similar ratios of fructose and glucose. I've covered this in previous videos because yeah, you could reformulate a product, take out high fructose corn syrup and just put sugar in it and then say there's no high fructose corn syrup when in reality you didn't change anything nutritionally about that product. You could also take high fructose corn syrup out, add in crystalline fructose and glucose syrup, and it could be the exact same nutritionally, but you could say no high fructose corn syrup. So that label really is not telling you anything about the safety or the nutrition of the product, and it is not telling you that it is even better than maybe a previous formulation that had high fructose corn syrup. It is simply a marketing label and they're using these misconceptions to market products.